Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY and today we have a service call for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for a Multi-V system. This is a heat recovery heat pump. The original service call was for one of the rooms and they said that they thought the fan was bad. I put the system on heating and it was in preheat mode and what I believe is going on is that the pipe needs to heat up before the fans start. The pipe was never heating up, went up to the roof to find the condensing unit serving that room and I found we have an error code. If we look closely at this code we can see C1 1 and then 211. C1 is compressor 1 and 1 is just unit 1. In this kind of unit we only have one compressor other units have multiple then we see a 211 the error code is actually 21 it's gonna be ch21 i'm using the lg service excuse me <laughs> service dash business app and ch21 the error title is outdoor unit inverter compressor ipm fault cause of error says the same thing outdoor unit inverter compressor drive ipm fault now let's put this back it's been a little while since i messed around with one of these at some point i was here like every other day on these units when i first started this account all right guys let's take off this cover instead of wasting a bunch of time and checking all these bores and everything like that i'm gonna reset the unit so for now, let me turn the power off. All right, power is off. And we're gonna reset it and then start the unit. After five minutes, it should reset. I'm gonna start the unit. I'm gonna put my ammeter across that compressor because I have yet to see one fail the insulation resistance test. But when you start it, when you start the compressor, we got these high amps, meaning we got locked rotor. So if we got lock rotor, you already know the deal. You're gonna wanna change that compressor and inverter board. What is this? Looks like some some stains on here. Something don't look good. It doesn't look like it burnt, man. Woo! What? Uh, it's gonna be a surprise under there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Maybe it's just the insulation on this thing, but this thing is done. Let's set up a light. You see all those stains? Look at that. And then over here, like look at the insulation. It's like changed the color. It's like crispy. Something looks bad here, man. This don't look good. Insulation just overheated. Wonder about the compressor. This thing is probably done, man. Wouldn't be surprised. Changed so many compressors here. Just turn the power back on. All right. Let's see what happens. Got the cover open in there. Just gonna do this quick. I spent a lot of time checking these boards and everything. Let's see if this thing tries to restart. I'm gonna watch the amps. It's supposed to like gradually go up, but if it just like shoots up, I think it's locked out. And I've seen so many like that at this point. Let's just try it and see what happens. Got an eight. checks i just heard some valves open here some solenoids or something units definitely calling for heat downstairs in the room i was in so this one condensing unit serves eight to nine indoor units so there was a complaint on one room but really 
half the floor is now, so eight or nine units, eight or nine apartments don't have heating. Right now it's super chilly outside. It's about 35 degrees out right now here in New York City. Let's see this thing trying to start. Insulation definitely ran hot on here. That's why we saw all that. That thing is done. There's a good chance this compressor is bad. It's just, I haven't seen it happen so many times. Boy, is it windy out here. I'm just gonna wait, keep an eye on these amps to see if anything happens. thousand years later see that you see that look at those amps jumps up 20 31 amps done I knew it man and we got the error code goodbye it is done there's no reason to do insulation Resistance checks, no reason to just check the board itself because when you change this compressor, you change it with the inverter board. Oh man, another dead compressor, guys. All right, guys, I turned the power off, put this cover back on, rip this all this stuff apart to try to get to the part number. It actually says it on the compressor itself. Just taking down some information, pipe sizes, compressor info. And I have the part number for the inverter board here. You gotta actually to change this compressor. You gotta pull this whole thing out of the way. It's a whole thing. I do have videos on that, and I do have further in-depth detail videos on troubleshooting. You gotta change this compressor. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.